Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back for another reaction of Monster. This is episode 40 and this episode is called Grimmer. So last episode we had Lunge look into the whole thing with the library. I think he kind of realized that Johan may actually be alive. He even said himself that he might be a devil, right? Laugh about it because he doesn't believe it. Um, then we had the whole thing with the frogs and the bridge and Carl delivering a message to Tenma, uh, which is really interesting. I cannot wait to find out what is up with that bridge and the three frogs. Um, let's keep going, guys. Gonna be awesome. So let's see if we're going to frog. So, Mr. Grimmer, have any luck? Did you find some mm -hmm. of the information you were looking for? So it's a person. What you're after won't be easy to locate. Record keeping changed when the East and West united. Data from before then is hard to find. I thank you for this opportunity, Principal Garbrecht. Frankly, I'm surprised you have even this much left. Most have far less. And, of course, you're quite correct. When the Berlin Wall fell, almost all of the data involving East Germany's unsavory practices disappeared forever. You know, I feel quite sure that the children in the orphanages of the old East Germany were victims of physical and mental abuse. But of course, the real challenge here is actually finding any written records to prove hmm. my thoughts are true. Your thinking sounds right. He's you correct. Know, most of East Germany's orphanages were being managed under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Health and Welfare. But a much bigger problem was created when the authorities classified a child's parents as criminal offenders, political prisoners, spies, or even illegal immigrants. In the midst of all of the orphanages that took care of these children, there was one special orphanage run by the notorious Internal Affairs Ministry. Apparently, there were many instances of abuse, and these inhumane personality corrections took place in that one particular orphanage. Anyhow, that's what I want to find out, in as much right? detail as possible. I want to know every last little thing that happened there. I'm leaving no stone unturned. My, that's a tedious task, huh? I'd like to help, but there's not much so information to share. Guy? Most of those involved who passed away kept silent or they're leading new lives. I'm sure you're right. Even Mr. Schnur, who's now an instructor here, won't speak with me. Wait, did you say Mr. Schnur? Yes, he was a teacher at East Germany's 6-2 Kinderheim under the old regime. I requested to interview him about his past, but he refused my request. Listen, mm. there's a real possibility Mr. Schnur terrorized children while he worked in East Germany, so I'd be a little more cautious around him if I were you. Mm. Better listen to this guy. Oh, would it be alright if I photocopied some of the information in these books? Sure, that would be just fine. Uh, Mr. Grimmer, if I may, you are a newspaper journalist from West Germany, isn't that correct? No, mm. I'm from this side. I worked as a reporter for a newspaper in Leipzig. Well... I never expected a human rights advocate like you to be from the Eastern Bloc. It's true. <laughs> During that time, I used to travel all over the world as a special overseas news correspondent. Okay, so... Yeah, I went everywhere on missions for the government. So we have, like, another guy digging into it? I used to be a spy. Here we go. <laughs> Goodness, your bag looks awfully heavy. Well, it's packed with all the data I've collected traveling around East Germany. I can't wait to read up on your findings. So, where are you heading to next? Oh, to the Czech Republic. On to Prague. Thank you for all your help, Principal. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I heard you're getting treated pretty badly by those boys. And they ended up taking your shoes away, didn't they? You know, crying won't help. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's been proven that people can live without shoes. After all, every last one of us was born barefoot. But I must say... Anyone who bullies other people by stealing their shoes, they're the worst. 
Anyhow, now you have shoes again, so there's no need to cry anymore. Take okay, care. this guy is a good guy. Now he has a deeder. <laughs> Guessing they're a little big for you, am I right? Uh, excuse me, sir? Uh huh? Do you have a second, sir? Of course. What is it? I'm kind of in a fix. You see, I have a big problem. My briefcase that had my passport in it was stolen just a while ago. Your passport was stolen. That really is a big problem. I turned around and it was gone. I'm on my way to see my younger sister who lives in Vienna. Only yesterday I got a phone call saying that she suddenly collapsed. She collapsed? You need to find a way this to get there scam. as soon as possible. This is a scam. My, all my Maybe scam bells help. just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mm. I already talked to them. The exactly. bigger problem is my poor sister doesn't have any money for a doctor. Oh no, that's got to be the worst news yet. And to top things off, my stolen briefcase had my wallet in it, too. No. I know I can't go, but if I could at least find a way to wire some money to my sister, she could get some medical attention. But now I hope this guy like realizes. I can't even do that. So, just how much do you need? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't need to help out. Honestly, I don't need that much money. Really. All I need is to pull together a small amount of cash, just enough so she can see a doctor. Here, I'm just sorry I don't have more to give you. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, Donka Shin. I swear that I'll pay you back very soon. Just write down the address where you want me to send the check. That's all right. No need to repay me. Just see that your sister gets the help she needs, okay? God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. I wish you and your sister all the best. Dude. Come on, buddy. How could you hand over your money to that hustler? Uh huh? He was lying. His story was just a scam. Exactly. That guy works obvious. his train station all the time looking for suckers like you. I can't believe you got fooled by that hustler. I really got fooled? <laughs> oh my god, Attention. dude. The express train to Prague will be departing from track 7 at 3.15 p.m. I guess this guy is just pure Damn hard. <laughs> Here comes Tanma. Going there together, I guess. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna make it for a sec. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Hmm. Hey, thanks again for earlier. You mind if I sit here? No. Go ahead. This might be interesting, actually. So, where are you headed? Oh, me? I'm headed for Prague. Going the same way. and you're Japanese, am I right? Huh? Konnichiwa. Oh, Domo. You know, I visited Japan a couple of times. Domo, Domo. Oh. How long has it been since I was there last? Well, it's been a couple of years, I can tell you that much. The last time I was over there was a business trip. I went to Akihabara to purchase some wiretap equipment and other high-tech gadgets. Oh yeah, that reminds me. This song, it was really popular. I'm sure you know it. Kitano Hakabadori Nawa. No, no, wait, that, that's not right. Uh, Kitano. It's Sakabadori Niwa. Oh, that's right. That's how it goes. Kitano. Oh my God. Sakabadori Niwa. Oh, and there were these robots. My son would have loved it if I'd brought back a plastic model toy for him. So where's your son now? Oh. He's gone. My son died. What? That is sad. It just went from happy to sad. 
Departure passport check. If you would present your passport. Oh, sure, of course. Uh, danke schön. Hmm. Oh, please don't, like, don't know him, please. Look, there's the Elba River. How's the trout fishing been on the Elba River this year anyway? It hasn't been very good, sir. Huh, is that so? Because last year I caught a trout this big on that river. That wouldn't happen this year. Dankeschön, sir. Did he just help him out? I feel he helped him out. He's on to the fact that was a fake passport you just showed him. <laughs> yep. Yep. She need to get moving right now, Dr. Tenma. Uh, how is it that you he know, even know him? Okay. That's not important. What does matter here is that the border police have realized your passport's a fake, and I'm sure they're on their way. So you need to get out of here right now, Dr. Tenma. Okay, so what this Gr Grimmer is doing is, it is a persona, right? Like he's acting like all happy jolly. Move it, you. Come on, we need to get past you. Sorry about this, guys. My duffel bag's so big and overstuffed, I guess I'm kind of stuck here. I can't seem to move. Get out of the way right now. Believe me, sir, I am trying to get out of the way. What's in that bag anyway? Some very valuable items. <laughs> oh, good. I finally got loose. Do you know where that other man went? Answer me! Huh? There was an Asian man who was sitting with you in this compartment. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe he got hungry and went to the dining car. Move, men. Check the next car. Yes, yes sir. sir. This is passenger car two. Emergency. Yeah. We have an Asian man using a fake passport who's running loose on this train. <sighs> Not anymore. What's wrong? Stop this train immediately! So Grimer knew who Tenma was all along. Hmm. You did very well back there. They're not chasing us. They're searching the other way. Since the train was stopped, I figured I should get off. Oh, I guess I forgot to introduce myself, Doctor. My name's Grimmer. Grimmer, okay, it's Grimmer, not Grimmer. I thought you might need some guidance, Dr. Tenma. So if you'd like, I could show you the way to the border. But then again, this guy was a spy, right? I actually forgot that fact. I'm very well acquainted with this area. Actually, I fished around here quite a few times. It's mountainous terrain, so the hike ain't easy, but the view is great. Grimmer. Ask some Why questions. Why you help me anyway? Yeah, ask some huh? questions here. Oh. Well, you see, I worked for a newspaper company in East Germany. But now I'm doing my own thing as a freelance journalist. I've read every article about you I could find, and I have to admit I find you very interesting. Being falsely accused of crimes was a part of everyday life in East Germany. Political prisoners charged without merit, accused murderers who weren't really guilty. Seeing that happen all the time, you got to have a pretty good eye for spotting who was guilty and who was innocent. And I'd say you're innocent. Does that sound about right, Dr. Tenma? Very right. Listen, do me a favor and stop calling me doctor. Huh? But Dr. Tenma, you're one of the world's most brilliant neurosurgeons. Aren't you proud of that? I am no longer a doctor. Ah, because he killed someone. Is that why he's thinking like that? So, what do you think? It's a magnificent view, isn't it? And from here, we can see anyone coming up the mountain after us. That said, I think we've earned a well-deserved break for lunch. 
Would you care to join me for a sandwich? I also brought a rather nice red wine. Oh, and some delicious cheese. Thank you for your offer, but I really need to keep on moving. It's hours until sunset. It'll be easier and safer trying to cross the border after dark. <laughs> Better listen to this guy. Wow, look at this. Meeting outside like this is just the best. It's such a treat to do this once in a while, isn't it, Dr. Tenma? Enjoying delicious food while taking in a wonderful view. <laughs> it's moments like this that help me truly feel the pleasures of living. <sighs> I must admit, I have a profound respect for you, doctors. Journalists like myself serve to entertain people, and hopefully my readers feel happier to be alive after reading my articles. But what you do, that's powerful. You literally give people life. I take it now. But I... I shot a man, and I did it on purpose. Yeah, and self-defense, dude. There's no problem in that. It happened last month in Munich. It's the first time I shot someone. I think he probably died. I hope My so. My hands were trembling so much I couldn't aim. I didn't think I'd really be able to do it. But after I shot him, my hands stopped trembling. And now, I know that I have to shoot another man. I have to stop a man that's pure evil. One thing is for certain, I'm no doctor. Well, you are. You just killed someone now. When I see the Elba River, I think of how I'd give anything to change the past. Yeah, I would have made a difference, so I could have shared the joy of fishing here with my son. What was he like, your little boy? You can catch a trout this big in that river. My poor son died without me ever sharing the pleasures of the outdoors with him. What makes me the saddest is feeling that his life could have been saved. If a doctor like you had been there for him. I was about to say, it, 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 doesn't, it seems like he doesn't want to talk about it. I swear, you can catch trout this big. I'm not kidding around here. The other side of that mountain is the Czech border. Follow the forest path past there and you'll hit a road where you might be able to get a ride. As for me, I'm heading back to the train station now. Thank you, Mr. Grimmer. I never would have made it this far without you helping me. I truly wish you the best of luck, Dr. Tenma. Say, if we meet again, let's plan for another great picnic, all right? <laughs> hey, Dr. Tenma. Everyone in this world carries around their own sins. And they never go away. But that doesn't change the fact that we do what we must. Wise words. Ah, how wonderful. I'd always heard this was a beautiful city. This may be my first night in Prague, but I'm already enchanted. It's like a village from a fairy tale. So he made it at least. Excuse me, do you mind if I sit here? Sit yourself. Uh, I must say, I am completely captivated by this city. You're Mr. Pedrov, right? You bought your Russian citizenship, and now here you are, living in Prague. I'd like to ask you some things about your past, sir. Would you be willing to help me with some answers, Mr. Pedro? Oh, my mistake. Your real name is Reinhard Biermann, isn't it? 
There was this very special orphanage located in East Berlin, right? Oh, here it we go. It was more of a laboratory, really, where experiments were conducted on children's personalities. It was called 511 Kinderheim, and you were the director there, Mr. Biermann. You should know all about the abuse that went on there. After all, sir, you were the one running the place. Just what were you trying to achieve in those experiments? Crazy. Back in East Berlin. At 511 Kinderheim. Care to explain it to me? Please do. Please do. can see right oh so shit. there we have it guys that was the episode and of course this episode was a little bit on the slower side not all episode can be episode 38 right but um holy um i i feel i feel that this grimmer guy uh he really he really is a good spy i would say because he he takes on this persona of a goody two-shoes guy right and Deep down when he removes it, he is the spy, which he literally told you us he was, right? Or ex-spy, if you can say it like that. Um, and good thing he is actually a good guy, right? Because it generally would have been screwed here if he, if he wasn't. Um, he knew exactly who Tenma was. He knew exactly that it was a fake passport. Um, so yeah, like, good thing he was there to help him. Uh, even stepped off the train to help him enter um, Prague, right? Or we didn't see uh, Tenma into Prague, but I'm, I'm, I think he did, right? Um, Grimmer also in the end confronting the director of 511 Kinderheim, um, hoping to get some answers, I guess, right? But. I don't know if this guy is willing to tell anything. Um, we know why uh, Tenma is there, right? And it's to find this uh, woman or Johan and Nina's uh, mother, right? I just hope that we can get some information out of it, that it's just not a waste of time going here. Um, maybe we can get her to come with us, so maybe she can reach out to Johan and we can I don't know, get some, get a little bit further ahead than Johan always is, so we can actually catch him, right? Um, but yeah, I guess not so much more happened this episode. Um, I don't know, animal food still looks really great, <laughs> like those sandwiches, oh my god, I'm getting really hungry here. Uh, but anyway, not so much more happened. Um, I wonder if this uh, Grimmer guy is gonna be like a more a character that we're gonna see more of uh he's definitely interesting and i wouldn't mind having him on my team actually seeing that he was an old spy right but anyway guys enough about this thank you for watching thank you for following as always please leave a like i would appreciate it so much see you next time peace